I say a pleasant good day to each and every one of you that have taken the time to listen to this devotion. And I want to say a special thank you to those of you who have taken these devotions and shared them with others. You are a partner in sharing the gospel. I thank you so much. I often said that there was a, a man by the name of Andrew. And as I read about Andrew, I do not find much said in the scripture about Andrew. But what is said about Andrew is very important. Two times I can remember Andrew in regards to the Lord and his ministry. Once when the multitude was there and they needed food to eat. And the disciples told Jesus to send them away. He asked, what do you have here? Andrew got up and Andrew said, there's a little lad here with a little lunch. And uh, no doubt Andrew got that lunch, brought it to Jesus. Jesus blessed it and he fed the multitude. Then I found again that Andrew, when he met Jesus, he went back to his brother Peter and he told Peter, they have found the Messiah, come see if this is not him. So Andrew brought Peter to the Lord. And what is amazing, you don't find Andrew preaching or bringing people to the Lord. But the person who Andrew brought to the Lord, Peter brought thousands to Christ. At one point, the scripture says, a multitude. So you may be the little Andrew, or I may be the little Andrew, who may have found a Peter, who when Peter shares, multitudes may come. So let's share the gospel with our loved ones. And all we want to do is to make people aware of what the scripture says. There is a song written by Edwin O. Exel. The song entitled says, I have been redeemed. He said, I have a song I love to sing since I have been redeemed. Of my Redeemer, Savior, King, since I have been redeemed. Since I have been redeemed, since I have been redeemed, I will glory in His name. Since I have been redeemed, I will glory in His name. I believe that one of the greatest things that we can do is that of glorifying God. That's the purpose in which that we are here. We are here for the purpose to glorify God. And like I've often said, if what we do, we do it with the intention to glorify God, to bring glory to God, God will show up. And when God shows up in receiving His glory, God does great things. So let's do whatever we can to glorify God. Thanks for sharing and for following with us in our December devotion, the little series about the blood of Christ. I feel led to move on and go to chapter 3 of the book of Matthew and share with you some important facts that I believe will bring glory to God and no doubt bring people to Christ as we share in these devotions. So permit me to read for you the first six verses of Matthew chapter 3. The Bible said, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, 
the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his remnant of camel hair, and a leaden girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Permit me to speak to you a little bit on this man that I consider as a great man of God, the man John. I remember several years ago, I had a week of services here and invited several speakers to speak. And I asked someone to speak for us on the subject, great men of the faith. When the speaker got up to speak, he made an announcement and he said that there are no great men. And I thought, no, he's not correct. Why I thought that he was not correct when he made that statement, because the Bible speaks of great men. In our world today, many have different ideas of what makes a great man or a great person. For some, it depends on your level of education, the job you hold, and your performance on that job. Based on those things, to some you are great. To others, the money you make and the achievements in this life, you may be considered to be great. To some, the family you were born to and raised by, you may be considered great. John the Baptist, as far as the world is concerned, would not be considered great. But when you are called great by God, you know that you are well placed. In Luke chapter 1 and verse 15, the scripture said, For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Notice what he said. He said, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Luke chapter 1 and verse number 15. Now if we go back and we look at the verses before that, verse 13 and verse 14, there you would see that verse 15 speaks of John. In verse 13 the Bible says, But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Jesus said something about John that placed him above the world's standard of greatness. In Matthew 11 and verse 11, the scripture says, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, they had not been risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. As I think of this statement, it means John was greater than those Old Testament heroes of the faith. Men like Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. He was greater than Moses, Elijah, David, or any of their kind. He was greater than any of the kings, emperors, philosophers, or military leaders in history. I believe that John was great because of the message he proclaimed in these six verses here we have presented to us. There's some things that are presented to us that in our next devotion, I'll share with you because my time is up for today. Father, 
I pray that you would lead and help me to understand as I share with your people why you consider John to be great. Lord, I pray that we will also see that the one who places faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, regardless to where he came from or what he did, you consider him also to be even great or greater. Thank you for the greatest of all, the Lord Jesus Christ who died for us. Have you way with us, dear God, as we share morning after morning. May you be honored, may you be glorified, and may your people be blessed as they share with others the blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you as you commit yourself to sharing these devotions for another year. I commit myself to doing my best and making sure that there is a devotion. Thanks for partnering. We love you. Do have a great day.